it's always tough when you draw that high-level wrestler who has a lifetime of experience in a one-on-one -on -one competitive situation. Prevailing wisdom is he'll have the wrestling advantage in this one tonight. As his dad said, the moment he introduced him to the sport, he knew that he was made to be a wrestler. The kid slept in his headgear. He only wants to wrestle, and by doing that, he puts you in danger. He's constantly in your face, constantly trying to dig at your gas tank. He goes from transition to transition, single to double to high crotch. It does not matter the attack. He just knows that he will give you so much to process in terms of the wrestling that eventually he will get you to the ground. You ever sleep in your headgear? I sleep in my headgear. All the time. All the time. All right, big one for him here tonight. Let's get to it. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So two years, the gap in age, with some differences in height, but the same reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois. Below, remember the name, Muhammad! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. It's going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it up with. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Hook attempt now, blocked though by Lee. The combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at him chop the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice one, two there. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth, 
This is a full-on draw. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's gonna take that one shot that finishes the fight. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by him. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. That strike blocked by Lee. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Let's move that head now. He missed with that jab attempt there. Just out of range with the big right hand. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbow's tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Big hard punch lands. Now he gets back to range. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Shot to the body, turned back by Lee. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, man, head to play. Oh, big punch man. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, nice. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast, so crisp. That strike blocked by Lee. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Lee. Good stick. Nice stick. He's got to go at it. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight. And that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course for the next round. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. That one's going to Nice strike. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Beautiful hit. Oh, a huge block.
block there. Beautiful strike. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Landed a big kick there. Take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch MMA evolve and watch guys now fight behind the jab. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. What a punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Do not back up. Now connects with a right. A really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all income strikes. Nice combination of jabs. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. I need you to kick now. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. It's such a fast leg kick. Bleeding over the left eye now. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. He throws every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Ooh, big shot lands. Back and forth we go. Ooh, head kick Lance is hurt. Good, there it is, there it is. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. What a body kick. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and he felt like that was a big key for him coming in tonight. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming in. Great punch. Big leg kick land. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Lee. Just missed with that right hand. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Straight right hand now just misses. And he continues to work the body here. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Punch is blocked. Keep your hands up. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Sneaky head kick. Overhand to the head is true. Great technique there. Nice body kick. Misses with that punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Powerful leg kick lands. Goes right back to that left kick and lands. Oh, big head kick there. Fifteen seconds to go. Oh! Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. Back and forth we go. How about those five minutes? All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You got to think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both 
Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. And we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick. Really timing his shots nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Nice, sneaky head kick. Nice strike. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water, going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Head kick. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Yes, that you heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Beautiful body kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. Push kick there to the body. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Just out of range with that right hook. Way to hide that leg kick. Nice counter jab up top by Lee. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow has managed to land it with so much force. Great punch, landed with so much power. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Kick to the body by Lee. Just missed with the left there. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, one got through, that's it, his block. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Big kick land. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Try to establish that jab. Hands up, hands up. Oh, big head kick. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Ooh, blocks the shot. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round.
All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. Huh. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop him. All right, so next round Great underway fight. here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Right idea, wrong execution. The counter right is no good. There's no tell on that leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. Whoa! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, big left. Lands a hook there, DC. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. When you throw a hook, it can go around the guard of your opponent. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land this strike. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Beautiful play. Just missing on the counter there. How good is that right hand? Punch coming, it's blocked. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, as good a counter striker as there is in the game. Straight right is good. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hitting bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Nice punch there. As he on the feet, his opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was King Velasquez's Choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people's hands. But this guy has a very bad movement. There's no give on that leg kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. And he landed a nice hook shot there, DC. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent Wobbly leg. Nice job defensively there as he keeps his hands up, not just protecting his face, but also what is a pretty significant cut. You cannot allow that to get hit anymore because the board starts to split and the blood starts to go into the eye. It not only is damaging in terms of the physical appearance of the cut, but the blood going into the eye almost completely. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. crowd react every time they come together. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Oh! And now 
his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Ooh, what a punch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, man, that cut not in a good place, and it's not getting any better. 20 seconds left. Clean with the right hook. Look at that leg. Came with inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Buzzer oh. sounds oh. for the end of round four. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, he, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. Can't take many of those, you better check. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Beautiful leg kick thrown. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. What a joke! What a joke! Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Just missing on the high kick there. And he caught the kick. Nice loop and punch. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Lands with the right hand. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time, this guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. The right hand just misses. Big punch lands. Ooh. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Gets up again here, but hurting. Real nice body kick land. Oh, nice. Three minutes now to go in this one. Oh, oh, it's over. It's over. He got him. Woo Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's going to stop this contest at one minute, 59 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoy